I simply cannot believe that England has this. Top of the morning to you, class. It's actually not even morning, it's evening. We're starting this vlog in the night. It's like 6 or 7 p.m. and we are in the city of Bristol, here in uh, the west of England. Tomorrow we're going off to Wales, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of this city because a lot of you guys recommended places to visit in Somerset County. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're staying in our wonderful room here in the YHA hostels who are sponsoring this trip. And uh, yeah, we're going to be heading off on a little adventure through the town today. It's going to be super fun. If you're coming across this video and this is your first time watching my channel, I wanted to mention that part of what we're doing here is a trip to show people that the UK, England, Wales is more than just London, more than just the big city of London. We're trying to show people cool spots you can come hang out when you travel here and uh, cool things to come see. So we're here in the town of Bristol, out on the prowl. It feels super reminiscent to Amsterdam, kind of these walkways over the water and like a little shipping yard. All right, first things first, we're going to try to find something to eat. So we, uh, so we eat, so we're not hungry. It is time to get some din din. I look through this menu and eat some of that classic Somerset Bristol food. It's great for me though. Pizza. There we are. I don't think I've had a pie yet in England. Because uh, pies in the US are usually sweet. But here, they're savory. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go for this little vegetarian pie. Uh, it looks good. It looks like it has squash in it. Yes, that's me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ooh la la. What the heck is this? Oh, Alright guys, I'm gonna have my first taste of an English pie. This one has sweet potato and like goat cheese in it. And it looks legit. Alright, here we go. Oh. 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 It's so hot. That's really good. The outside layer is very similar to the uh, the Cornish pasty we had in Cornwall. But damn, that is like delicious and flaky. It's kind of like a pie in the United States. Just savory instead of sweet. Oh, boys and girls, that was delicious. I destroyed that whole pie. Pie gets a freaking A plus for me. That was delicious. So we just finished eating. Christy has gone back to the room to go edit. So it's just me and Angel out on the prowl today. Two single boys in the Bristol town. Ooh, ooh. Just prowling around. But first, when we came in, I saw this cool looking building. That's just down the road. And I definitely want to go check it out because I don't know how much time we're going to have here tomorrow morning. Guys, just so you know, Jello is vlogging in both Spanish and English for you. So if you speak Spanish or you speak English, he's got two channels to subscribe to. Check him out. It's a big building I uh, spotted from far away and it looks kind of epic. So what is this? It's Bristol Cathedral. And we looks, just got our information. Looks, looks like the Westminster Abbey. Yes, but damn, look at that. That's huge. I sometimes honestly can't believe England has these things. And a lot of you guys are gonna crap on me in the comments, but I just can't, all right? What's up guys? I wanna hit you guys with some info here about Bristol before we end off our adventure for the night and then head off for tomorrow's adventure in Bristol. I wanted to tell you guys no. First of all, Bristol is actually rated one of the top 10 cities in the world. It won in 2009, being one of the top 10 cities to come visit. One of the best cities for tourists. I think it comes with a flavor of being local, being hip, and being fun, and having a crap ton of history, and also being around a huge area of outstanding natural beauty, as the Brits say. There is so much to see and do around this area, so it's totally a place you should come check out. This town, Bristol specifically, had a port and a harbor that was super famous in the beginning for sea exploration and for heading out to the New World. This was actually one of the main starting points for many vessels and ships to head out and explore the rest of the world. And also nowadays, the city is actually known as more of a, a hip, kind of young scene and a lot of what they do is make money through media, electronics, technology. It's become a very young centralized city and also one of the coolest things that I just learned about by reading it online is that Bristol has its largest currency, local currency in the UK. It has its own pound called the Bristol Pound which actually competes with the Great British Sterling Pound from the UK. So that's so cool to know. There's actually a local currency here that's competing with Britain's currency. So yeah. This is an amazing place and you should totally come visit it. It's an amazing get out of London situation and come on out to the west of England. Bye bye now. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah. These two young studs are heading back to oh, our yeah, room because we're tired and we're old men. But I hope you guys enjoyed what it's like to see in the nightlife of the Bristol. And guys, say no to drugs. drugs. But together we can say Sudafe. All right, back in the YHA. You ready? 
All right, Clatteronis, it is time to go to bed and wake up tomorrow and see more of Bristol. So, we'll see you in the morning. Okay. Good morning. We are now going to head downstairs to the lobby. Angel and Christiane are waiting for me. And then we're going to head off uh, and explore a little bit more of the city before we go off to Wales. Feel pregnant? Quite pregnant. Well, good morning to you then. What makes you feel pregnant on a morning in Bristol? I guess that speaks for itself. I have one goal to see here in Bristol before we leave to Wales. Uh, this should be our last stop in England before we head off to the new country. Um, and that is the Clifton Suspension Bridge. The structure of it reminded me a lot of the viaduct that we saw back in Yorkshire Dales National Park, the Ribblehead Viaduct, and I really wanted to see that captured on video, maybe get a drone up there. We were like four days into this trip, we haven't given our car a name, and we've just named her Stacy. Apparently that's a Welsh name. Well, I don't know if it's definitely Welsh, but you know, Gavin and Stacy. Good old Stacy. Clifton Suspension Bridge, here we come! Guys, we are here on site near the Clifton Suspension Y'all Bridge. Holy jeebus, ladies and gentlemen, that is a bridge. Guys, check this thing out. This thing's freaking huge. What a cool bridge. This feels like one of those giant suspension bridges uh, over the Colorado River, but this is like freaking antique style. <laughs> Look how large it is. This is amazing. This bridge is incredible. Holy crap. All right, we are going to take a walk over there to the other side of the bridge. Try to get a drone up in the air. See this place from up above because it'll be absolutely wonderful. I am really in awe of this place. This is really cool. I just got kind of told off for sitting on the edge of the bridge. I mean, rightfully so. There's a huge gorge in the middle, so. We are now trying to hike up to that little castle looking thing and give you guys all the info about this wonderful place. Look at these vloggers in focus. Look at them capturing pictures, capturing video. Sorry, sorry. Come on, my friends. Sorry. Come on, friends. It's time to go to a bridge. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Come on, get in on this. Here we go. There we go. We're going up a bridge. There's no better way to start off a Sunday morning in England than this. Beautiful weather, beautiful people, beautiful bridge. Wow. <laughs> this thing is amazing. I simply cannot believe that England has this. It is awesome. So, so cool. Uh, England's blowing my mind. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I am going to start what will be one of my best drone flights of all time. I am so excited to do this. We are going to take off and head over there. Uh, helmet engaged. Boy, excited. You're a wet little drone. All right, so up here on the hill, uh, overlooking the bridge, they actually have a thing called the Clifton Observatory. I don't know what exactly is in there, but you got a whole little park up here on the on the mountain, and it's very cool. Let's give you guys a little bit of history about this place. All right, so first thing we should mention, geographically where we are, this is called the Avon or the Avon Gorge, and that's actually the area where the Clifton Suspension Bridge falls over. Inside the gorge as well, you have the beautiful River Avon or River Avon. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. I just got spiked by a little plant 
Ow. So the point of this bridge was to connect the area of Clifton and Bristol to Lee Woods in North Somerset. We are in Somerset County right now, so that's uh, kind of the whole area here. It opened up officially in 1864, and since then it has actually become a toll bridge. So if you want to take a ride with a car, it costs you one pound. But if you want to be a little cheeky, you can take a bike ride or walk it, and it is free. There's actually a path for bikes and uh, walkers, and there's actually a lot of people running there. It's a very active place. Seems like a lot of people use this place. The really cool thing is, is that the plans for this bridge started in the 12th and 13th century and when they finally started building it to maintenance it and to pay for maintenance for it they actually had shops open up on the bridge helping fund the actual plans for the bridge so it's really cool there's a lot of history here and that's just a little brief overview there's obviously lots you could learn about being here and just reading some of the signs here there's actually tons of bird species and bat species that hang out here there's caves in the walls and you can check them out really really cool place still cannot believe England has something like this <laughs> I know I don't want to sound like uh, naive about it but it's really really amazing we're gonna end this video here Clatteronis? Clatteronis macaronis this was a fun adventure in bristol i really like the city this is definitely a spot to come back to definitely check out these beautiful people in the description down below check out their channel subscribe watch their videos look how great they are ah! look at them. and check out yha thank you so much yha for hosting us in your awesome hostels and say goodbye to this old beautiful bridge and we'll see you next time next adventure we're going to wales so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that all right goodbye Oh, I didn't say I love you a long time. I do love you a long time. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>